Good morning and praise the Lord. This certainly is a day that the Lord has made and I'm thankful, I'm thankful that you joined us on this Monday morning to give God thanks and praise. Today's uh, uh, devotional is entitled Seek and Be Saved. It comes out of Romans chapter 3 verse 11 and it reads this way, There is none that understandeth, there is none that seeketh after God. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come, Lord, giving honor, glory, and thanks for your goodness and your mercy, and we thank you for the life you've given. We thank you for the wisdom and understanding that you've provided and the revelation that only can come from you. We ask, Lord, that you'll bless as we delve into your scripture, as we understand more perfectly your will and your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's devotional is Seek and Be Saved, and um, when Paul was writing the book of Romans, he was really, he was writing it uh, uh, making sure that people understood the the differences uh, between how the world operates and how the how God operates and uh, making sure that the arguments that would be made uh, concerning Christ uh, are answered and there were many arguments that were made by the people that were there looking to discredit Jesus uh, and Paul answered them uh, uh, in the in the book of Romans, especially as it dealt with our relationship with God, the, the resurrection, which comes out of the great book of Romans 15, how should we respond uh, when, when the scripture says, I beseech ye therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. All these were to answer the, the issues that were coming up during that time. But there was one statement that was made uh, that there is none that understandeth and there's none that seeketh after God. That's a fact from the standpoint of the world. And we only look at it in that narrow sense. What we do is that we seek the Lord and we seek understanding. What this passage is talking about the world is not talking about us. It's talking about the world. And when we recognize that the world does not seek the understanding of God and does not understand what the Lord is all about. We see this in our politics all the time. The secularism that takes place tries to divide and separate. What we do is just the opposite of that. We seek the understanding of the Lord. We seek God. We seek his face. We seek his grace. We seek his mercy. Not as if he can't be found, but in our seeking, we seek who we are better in him. The Lord has made us better made us better than we were before in ourselves. Um, but as we approach the idea of seeking, it is intentional. I will seek the Lord at all times. His praise will continually be in my mouth. This has been a moment of grace with Dr. Brazier. May God bless you and may God keep you in Jesus' name.